I want to show you how to set up a Google account so that when you come to the technology seminar we'll have that step out of the way and we can go right into use, utilizing the tools that we want to discuss. And the first thing that you're going to do is just go to the browser of your choice and your home page will come up. This is my class home page. Um, yours will probably look different. Hopefully you don't use my class home page as your home page. And I need you to click up here and just go to the regular Google site. And you get this nice blank looking page and you've discovered by now that if you move your mouse a lot of stuff appears. And what we need to do is we need to go over to where it says sign in. And if you already have a Gmail account, you already have a Google account, you could sign in at this point. But uh, for those of you that don't use Gmail, you need to create a Google account if you have not already done so. And so if you look down here, you see where it says don't have a Google account, create an account now. That's what we're going to do. And so use your current school email address. Um, that way we can easily share them. and then choose a password of the appropriate length. Um, it's good to get into the habit of using a central password and then changing like the first three letters um, to correspond with the account. So something like G-O-O-G-O and then your regular password gets, gets you a different password, but it also allows you to easily remember it. You'll fill in all of this information. Make sure that you do your word verification and make sure that you click I accept and create my account. You should get an email verification to the email address that you gave. Go to your email address, click on the verification, and you should be up and running. If you have any questions, you can email me at this address, and I will help with whatever troubleshooting needs to occur. If you would go through, set up your Google account, all you're going to have to remember is your school email address and the password that you gave it, and we can go from there. Otherwise, if you've already got a Google account or you already have a Gmail account, there's no need for you to do this step, and we'll be able to start right as we begin the seminar. Thank you, and look forward to seeing you in the seminar.